Well, today's the day. I'm taking possession of my off-grid property. Drove 1,100 kilometers to get here. Got to admit, kind of exciting. It's going to be change. But what's life without change, right? So yeah, I'm about half an hour away from it. Uh, so I'll show you the property and uh, the cabin and uh, show you what it's all about and what my plans are. A lot of things I want to develop on it. Maybe get some cattle, not, not so much cattle, but some animals. And uh, wow, there's going to be a lot to do. But it's sure going to be uh, fun and exciting. I got the keys. Go inside and take a little look, see around, show you what it's like. Oh, two different keys. There we go. We're in cool in here because look there's a uh, two by six walls with uh, rock saw insulation so it's gonna be nice and cool in the summer and easy to heat in the winter solar system already in place four batteries I think they're 100 amp hour 1700 watt inverter Charge controller. I'm going to add at least four more batteries to that. And then over here, I got the fridge. Oh, he left me, he left me quite a bit of stuff. It's actually on and working. That's good. 
coal oil. Propane stove. Wood stove. I'll spark that up later. So yeah, it's uh, only 500 square feet, but it's good for me. Uh-oh, just what I was thinking. He took the bed. I don't see a light switch here. Maybe there isn't a light switch. But, uh, water storage. Oh, there is a propane heater. I was running around different stores seeing if I could find a propane heater. He's got an old one here. Compost, sorry, compost toilet. I never used one, but I'm going to learn. Yeah, no bad, but I brought my army cot, so that'll be good for now. And a little look upstairs. You got the balcony. Another fire extinguisher. You never have too many fire extinguishers. And a little bedroom or storage. Probably make it into a little bedroom for guests. I always like to have guests. Very nice. I'm so excited. Awesome. And out the back here. What's that? Must be more keys. Okay. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Well, that's the door. But I could easily fix that up. It's kind of the back porch area. So where you put the propane for your propane stove yeah that'll be good out there and then you got an outdoor little outdoor kitchen here beautiful extra propane tanks let's take a little walk around the yard outhouse always good to have an outhouse oh ladies and men that's good. That's good. We got eight solar panels already up. I'll have to add to that. Don't want to make this first video too long. But... And the property is about 80% bush, probably even more. 85, 90. Shed here for storage, or maybe wood, whatever. He left quite a bit of stuff behind, which doesn't hurt my feelings. 100 pound propane tank. Not sure if this garage door opens here. No, I have to go around the front. This is going to be my shop. Could be a yeah shop. There's not big enough to put a vehicle in, but I don't need to put the vehicle inside. Let's see what they left inside for me. If I can get in. There we go. Whoa. Nice. This is gonna be awesome. Open up this other door. Put a little more light in. I'll be wiring this up. More solar. Look at that. Lots of tools and everything. Even a lawnmower. I got a good deal on this place, I tell you. Awesome. Another fridge. Looks like it's just for storage. Ammo box. Any ammo? Oh, I could use ammo. Another lamp. Beautiful. Empty and a winch. That'll come in handy. Look at that header. <laughs> Lots of two by fours. More than one way to skin a cat. 
you see that there's three big bucks that come through here quite often. So uh, I'll be getting back into hunting. A little pit here. Sit around, enjoy. A bunch of firewood left. Awesome. And that's the driveway out. And a drive around driveway. Said he's going back to hit the quad trailer. That's fine. And let's see what we got in here. This would be another good storage shed. If I can get it open. I think I'll need two hands to set down the camera for a moment. Oh, what do we got in here? Two more stoves. Yeah, that'll come in handy. Might put one in the in the garage or the shop. What's this? A headboard or a bed dresser? Very nice. Very nice. Steve is excited. And this is some sort of probably for outdoor shower. Okay, just make sure you follow along. It's going to be interesting. The new adventure for the Canadian Dreamer. Now I got a full truckload to unpack, settle in for the night. Catch you on the next one.